Hey everybody, um, back here now. So here's my application. I've actually just got it running on my local desktop. It's just it's too much hassle to try and get it to run, you know, in an emulator and then do screen capture and all that kind of stuff. So here it is. Uh, I've just got it sitting here running locally, um, and it's using. In in this case, I'm just using. Um, uh, Mozilla Firefox so that I can use uh, Firebug and look and see what's going across the wire. So I've just loaded up my application. Here it is. You can see in um, Firebug down here I've got 30.2k uh, of data that's coming across the wire. I think that's pretty good. Um, it says 22.2 is coming from cache. Well, you know, one, that's only going to be if the app's already been there, and then two, you know, I'm not real sure how mobile web caching works at this point. If, you know, am I really going to have 22.2K loaded up from the browser here? Anyway, um, you know, just moving along here, taking a look. Um, so I click on one of my items, and then bang, I'm going to get some data. Um, here you can see that I've had, you know, 68K of data sent across the wire to me. Um, I'm going to now go and click on one of these, and then I should get some more information. Yay! And as you can see, I've got a map here. And I could do a couple of different things. I could, you know, say, I'm here, you know, whatever. You know, whatever the Facebook places, Foursquare, Go Walla Crowd want, want to say here. Um, and then I send that information off and blah, 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 it's saved. Then I can go back and I can say, okay, let's go back to the beginning. And I can get a list of places that I've been. You can see that, hey, you know, here's some information. So, uh, you know, fairly efficient. I'm using some content delivery networks. Uh, specifically the Microsoft Content Delivery Network to you know not incur any kind of bandwidth charges. So I think that's pretty good. Um, just looking at some of the code here, we'll switch over here. First off, I got the script manager. He's running. Um, I I'm the kind of guy I like to turn things on. I don't and off explicitly. I don't like to just depend on something to happen. Enable partial rendering is set on. Um, enable history is specifically set off. Those are actually defaults. Um, I've also then turned on the enable CDN, which is a new feature in uh, dot, in .NET 4. I can enable using the Microsoft Content Delivery Network. Then the next thing that I've got is I'm going to come in and I'm going to get specifically. Scroll down here. I need to get my current location. You know, where am I? To do that, I come here. And I say, okay, you know, do this, you know, sudo HTML5 lookup. I say sudo because I don't, from what I understand, this isn't technically part of HTML5, but it's kind of been accepted. Um, so I do this. I say get my location. Once I get that current location, then I'm going to call this uh, get data callback. Here's my get data callback. I save my data off into a couple of these hidden fields. So that's how the application knows that I am somewhere. Now, then the next piece is going to be, okay, what am I going, or, oops, scroll down instead. I've got a series of, these are just my, you know, class, of, these are just my menu items at a high level. Um, I want to see, you know, like I said, I want to create uh, a look, I want to do, I'm sorry, I want to send some data out to the user but I don't want to send a bunch of tables. You know, tables are bad. Tables equal bad in the mobile world. So here this is. Um, let's see, what else? I've got... Um, ah. Let's see. By the way, that first bit of code there is not something that I'm actually using, so... It's just a leftover. Now, here we go. So here's some information. Um, here's a list of local places. It goes back. It does a lookup in my database. 
and then it says, okay, here's a bunch of places. Um, it's, you know, it's basically, it's using geolocation in SQL Server 2005, I'm sorry, 2008, R2. It says, okay, you know, give me a bunch of places that are close to here. Um, and that's a completely different discussion. Um, just from the the code behind piece, in case you're interested. Um, oops. Oh, that's actually still there. That's not what I meant. Okay. And so this is doing a bunch of link to entity stuff. Um, I've got some code that's specifically going in and looking to say, okay, you know, is this one of these iPhone, iOS devices? If so, I'm going to do some stuff. Um, but, let's see, I'm here. Um, I'm doing some lookups to get information about, um, ah, here we go, here's a piece. I've got a little data access layer, um, you know, given a latitude and longitude, give me some locations that are nearby. And so I do that. Oh. Oops, let's see. F12, whoops. Why is that not taking me there? Is that not taking me there? Okay. Ah, it was, it was just in another window. I hate it when that happens. And so there I am. I'm doing a lookup. I'm actually, what I'm trying to do here is I want, uh, so I've got heavily indexed the latitude and longitude. Um, so instead of looking across the whole database, I am really only going to look at things that are inside this little square that I've created. And then once I'm inside there, then I do an additional lookup. But that additional lookup is, is much less uh, costly. Then let's see. Um, where some of this comes from I'm sorry not where some of it comes from but some of the menu items um, some of the classes I'm sorry they're just set up as um, they're, they're coming from iWebKit so let's see where else um, those are really just the basics. I mean, it's it's pretty simple stuff. Um, oh, one piece that I did do. Um, in case you're not familiar with it, one of the things you can do in um, ASP.NET is you don't want to always send view state across the wire. So um, this here is just a simple base page that I created. It's going to go store it into a database um, table. You know, I basically I go get my um, page state. Um, yeah, I know. Shoot me for doing um, text base uh, SQL. I know that's bad. I should be using a stored procedure. Um, let's see. Obviously, you can't go back in the application because I'm deleting the. Actually, you could go back in the application. You just can't go back a real, real long way because um, I'm not actually doing a delete of the previous key. So hopefully, um, hopefully this has been helpful, and um, you'll be able to <coughs> excuse me. You'll be able to build uh, mobile applications with the tools that you're already using. So hopefully this has been helpful introduce some new ideas and concepts and uh, also I'll have a link to the uh, the video in the uh, show notes thanks